brothers and sisters we bless the name of the lord for this wonderful day and this is our prayer this morning that as we have come to seek the lord he will draw closer to us in the name of jesus let us praise him this morning let us adore him this morning there is no other one like our god father we thank you yes father lord we thank you lord we are so grateful we thank you once again. We bring our praise, our joy to worship you, Lord. We thank you because you are ever merciful and you are forgiven God. We thank you, Father, Lord. And we confess our unworthiness of your goodness. Lord, we thank you for the love that you love us, O Lord. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because you are the one that make a way for us to have access to the Father. We thank you because as you have declared that you said it in John chapter 14, verse 6, Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. Lord, we thank you. Lord Jesus, you are the way, you are the truth, and you are the life. In you is the source of all life itself. Without you, nothing will be able to survive, not even for a moment in time. You hold all things together through your great power. As you sit outside the creation, you made but also abide with it. This name ascribed to you all praise, all honor, and glory. Because there is nothing more critical to each of us than life. Whether that be life here or not, or eternal life. We only exist because you gave it. Lord, we worship you. As the source of our life, both now, in every moment of every day, and also for eternity, as a place where our faith in you, as we place our faith in you for the salvation of our soul. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are the way, the truth, and the life. We confess that we take life for granted far too many times. We take our life here on earth for granted, but also we take our eternal life for granted. We do this through actions which dismiss you. This might not be outright dismissal, but rather more subtle ones which, where we simply go throughout our day without acknowledging you. You are the source of all that we are, standing by patiently, lovingly, while we navigate through life with our thoughts on everything but you. Please, Lord Jesus, forgive us. Forgive our immature chasing of distraction. Forgive us for forgetting that you are our life, and in you is found the abundant life which we desire. Forgive us. Father, we want to thank you. Lord Jesus, we thank you this morning for our life, the life of our loved ones. Thank you for the air that we breathe in. Thank you that you keep our body functioning without our even having to think about it or tell our body what to do. 
you have given us a body that does so many miraculous things, moment by moment. We are not even aware of all that our body does to sustain the life you've given us. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for your divine design. Thank you for trusting us with the high calling of stewarding this life. We have been given to live out in your name and for your glory. So, Lord Jesus, when a loved one passes away or when we hear of some tragedy, our focus on life itself is heightened in our hearts and mind. It is in this time that we thank you for the gift you have given us. Then, as life goes on, we sometimes move away from that awareness and fall back into a spirit of complaints or even boredom as we go through our days, rather than appreciating every, each moment you've placed in our care. Lord, we ask you this morning that you help us treasure this name of yours, Lord Jesus. Help us treasure it not only when it is brought to the forefront of our mind through tragedy or trial, but also in the everydayness of life. Lord, we pray, may we honor you by honoring your name, which is life itself. Life is a gift. Help us treat it as such. Help us to appreciate it every moment, every hour that we experience today, Lord. Thank you, mighty Father. Not only that, you are giving to us everything that pertains to life and godliness. Oh, glory, hallelujah be to your name this morning. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We bless your name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Will you pray with me this morning? Pray as individuals. Say the Lord, where I am blind, give me sight. Lord, this day I pray, where I am blind, give me sight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because today is a special day. You will find out as you go. This morning, ask the Lord, Father God, where I am blind, give me sight. Every member of my household, where we are blind, oh Lord, give us sight. Let our eyes be opened, our spiritual eyes, oh Lord. Let it be opened in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I throw off every burden of worry in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Because you say, come unto me, oh you that labor and every lady, and I will give you rest. Lord, this morning, I throw off every burden of worry in my life. I throw it off in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, this morning I pray. I refuse to be entangled with any evil friend. In the name of Jesus Christ. I refuse for my children to be entangled with any evil friend. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. This day, in the name of Jesus Christ, I withdraw. Every satanic instruction against me from the memory of the evil messenger in the name of Jesus Christ, they will not locate me. They will not locate any member of my household. This morning, pray that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I will draw every satanic instruction against me from the memory of the evil messenger in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the name above all name, the name which is life itself. I will draw every satanic instruction against me, against my household from the memory of the evil messenger in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray this morning that, Lord, enough is enough. Let every hidden infirmity in my life depart. Let it depart by the fire of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh, Lord, my Father, let every, in, in, every hidden infirmity in my life, in the life of my children, let it depart in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us pray that, Father, Lord, give me a miracle that you don't find the word in the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, my Father, give me a miracle that will dumbfound the world. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cast down every roadblock, hiding my progress. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cast down. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every roadblock, hiding my progress. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray this morning that Father. 
let my spiritual temperature send terror to the camp of the enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, this day I pray. Let my spiritual temperature send terror to the camp of the enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, my Father, release me from every evil word and evil silence. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, I come before you this morning. I bring my family, my children, my grandchildren, bring every member of your household before the throne. You are a priest. So stand in the gap this morning. That Lord, I'm standing in the gap this morning for every member of my household. I release them from every evil word and evil silence. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release my children. I release my every member of my household from every evil word and evil silence. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus, let every spiritual handicap to my breakthrough in the name of Jesus be met by the fire of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I ask, let every spiritual handicap to breakthroughs in my life be mentored by the fire of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, let every spiritual handicap to breakthroughs in my life be mentored by the fire of God in the name of Jesus Christ. And I refuse to be glued to any problem in any department of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I refuse to be glued to any problem in any department of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus. This morning, let us pray that Lord God Almighty, you know, in Second Thessalonians, Chapter 3, verse 1 to 3. This is what is read before we pray. He said, finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free cause and be glorified, even as it is with you, and that you may be, we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men, for all men have not faith. But the Lord is faithful, who will establish you and keep you from evil. This morning, we're going to pray that Father God Deliver me. Deliver me from every unreasonable man. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, begin to expose wicked and unreasonable people operating around my life, around my children. Lord, expose them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father God, I pray. Lord, begin to expose wicked and unreasonable people operating around my life, around my children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, begin to expose them. Expose them, oh Lord. Every unreasonable and wicked people operating around my life and around my children or pray or expose them in the name of jesus christ in jesus name and let us pray that father put to an end the activity of the wicked and unreasonable men in my life put to an end Put an end to it, O Lord. Put an end to the activities of wicked and unreasonable men in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, put an end to the activities of wicked and unreasonable men in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, let them never be able to rejoice over me. Oh, mighty Father, this morning I pray, let them never be able to rejoice over me. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, as you turn the wickedness of Joseph brethren into a blessing, let every evil done against my life be turned to blessing. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray this morning that my Father, my Lord, I know that you are a story changer. As you turn the wickedness of Joseph brethren into a blessing, let every evil done against my life be turned to blessing. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, oh Lord, my Father, let me never do anything that will give wicked people an upper hand against my life in the name of Jesus Christ. So, Lord, I surrender myself to you this morning. Oh, mighty Father, let me never do anything that will give wicked people an upper hand against my life in the name of Jesus Christ. They are there. We should not deny it. There are wicked people. Jesus Christ, you said we should pray, deliver us from evil. And the evil one. So, Father, I pray, let me never do anything that will give wicked people an upper hand against my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your mercy that saw Joseph through me, through, see me through all my battles in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, let your mercy that saw Joseph through 
see me through all my battles in the name of Jesus because you are unchangeable God. You are the same Father Lord this morning. Raise up compassionate prayer warriors to stand by me in all my battles in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord I pray raise up compassionate prayer warriors to stand by me in all my battles in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As wicked him and handed up in his own gallop. Let the scheme of wicked enemies against me always backfire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, this morning I pray. As wicked Amen ended up in his own gallows, let the scheme of wicked enemies against me always backfire. In the name of Jesus Christ. As Joseph's destiny was not destroyed. Let wicked and unreasonable people men never succeed at destroying my destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, this morning, because you know the beginning to the end, you know the thought that you have towards me, Lord. Say that the Lord this morning, that Lord, your word say the thought that I have towards you is good, it's not evil. It is the thought is to give you hope and to give you an expected end. And I believe this for myself and for my family. Family, Lord. So, Father, I pray as Joseph's destiny was not destroyed, let wicked and unreasonable men never succeed at destroying my destiny and my children's destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, manifest your power this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. You are the author of life. Anything that is dead in my life, Lord, Breathe on it this day. Lord, bring, breathe on me, Lord, this morning. Make me alive. Make every dead area of my life to come alive this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Today is a special day. I don't know why. From the beginning, let me see, from the beginning of March, I came across this passage when I was reading it. It just struck on me. So I mark it on my calendar that today is going to be a special day either for me or for somebody. If you turn your Bible to Joshua and allow me to read from the Living Bible. So I will just read verses 1 to 6 of chapter 3. Then I will join to chapter for and tell you why the day is special. You know the story as you is familiar with it. Uh, chapter 3 of that chapter begin with this. Early the next morning, Joshua and all the people of Israel left Achaia and arrived that evening at the banks of the river Jordan, where they camped for a few days before crossing. On the third day, Officers went through the camp giving these instructions. When you see the priest carrying the ark of God, follow them. You have never before been where we are going now, so they will guide you. However, stay about a half mile behind with a clear space between you and the ark. Be sure that you don't get any closer. Verse 5, then Joseph told the people to purify themselves for tomorrow. He said, the Lord will do a great miracle. In the morning, Joshua ordered the priest, take up the ark and lead us across the river. And so they started out. Then I go to chapter 4. Bear with me since I'm using the the web, I have to go get it. So you, we know the story. They, they, they went and they crossed the river. The priests, as soon as they put their foot on the road, on the river, with what happened? It parted. But the verse I'm looking for, let me see. I can say it again. <laughs> okay, 19. It's, this miracle occurred on the 25th of March. 
That day, the entire nation crossed the Jordan River and camped in Gilgad at the eastern edge of the city of Jericho. This miracle occurred on the 25th of March. I don't know about you. Are you expecting a miracle? Today is March 25th. It's either it's coincident or not, I don't know. But I believe there is for somebody today. You will cross your Jordan. Today, by the power of God, you will cross your Jordan. We all have, each one of us have Jordan that we face from time to time. When we look at the obstacle that stand between us and spiritual victory in our own Canaan, we may feel that we will never be able to enter our Canaan of victory and enjoy the abundant life that Jesus promises for us. It is true that I do not know what kind of obstacle that you face in your life. But I know God who specializes in overcoming the overwhelming and in leading us, his, his children to victory. So it's the same God. God has not changed. The things that worked for them over 3,000 years ago will still work for you and I today. So as we read from this chapter, we need to bear in mind what happened. First of all, it involved a challenge. When it came time for the people to move forward to cross Jordan, God has a message that they need to hear. And in the world, they hear they had, they were challenged to do three important things. Three important things. The one, number one is to watch God. If we read in that chapter three alone, if we read the whole thing, the Ark of the Covenant was mentioned about seven times in that chapter alone. So the Ark, you may remember, was the special piece of tabernacle furniture that symbolized the presence and power of God. And when the ark was in the Holy of Holies, the glory of God rested upon it, and it was the dwelling place of God. To Israelite, it represents God's presence in the midst of his people. In other words, when God moved, they were to move. When God stopped, they were to do the same. We will do well when we face times of crisis or when we need direction in life to learn to be sensitive to the movement of the Lord in and around us. It is a fact that God loves you and that he will show you what he is doing. If you will watch him, he will teach you how to live day by day. And again, it's not enough for us to know what God is doing. There comes a time where you must leave your place and go after him. This may require us to leave our comfort zone. Israel was about to follow the ark through a river that was over one mile wide. That could have been easy, but it was still necessary and right. Look, I want us to understand. Following God may not be the easiest thing you will ever do, but it will be, it will be the best thing you ever do if you expect to get past your obstacles and enter your kingdom. You must learn to follow God. And the, 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 the third one is to honor, honor God. We read it, that few passage, that they were to stay about half miles behind the ark. 
this was so they would easily they would easily see what was happening ahead of them another reason is that the lord wanted no one but delivered near the ark to get too close would have meant death The reason for us, the lesson for us is that we must never be guilty of treating God like he's one of our bodies. There must always be a holy reference and a fear of the Lord in our heart. God help us that we never allow a spirit of familiarity chipping or work with the Lord. Regardless of what we go through with holy, righteous God, we are still nothing but sinners saved by his marvelous grace. Learning to walk with God, we learn to walk in the Spirit. That is learning to give control of your life to the Spirit of God, to follow God as he leads through his word, through prayer. It may not be easy always, but I promise that if you will follow, it will certainly lead. And we see that it involved a command. Just when um, Joshua gave them the command, sanctify yourself, set your part alive. If you and I expect to get past the Jordan that is arising in our life, we're going to have to learn that one of the things first we must do is examine our life to make sure they are clean as possible. And I pray this morning that the Lord will help us to realize that many of the things that happen in our life that prevent us from walking in Christian victory are the result of our sin and the Lord's chastisement. Ask yourself this morning, is everything in your life just as the Lord will have it to be? Remember, there is forgiveness in confessing our sin to the Lord. To see your Jordan parted, it involves a commitment. It involves a commitment. God made a promise. And he will fulfill his promise. But you have to do your part as well. And if God could be trusted in those days to keep his promises, he then can be trusted today. Often we are unable to get past the obstacle in our life because we live a life that exhibits a deep lack of faith in the promises of God. How do I know? Because of the worry and doubt that marked the life of people of God. We worry over tomorrow. And yet the Lord said, have no thoughts of tomorrow. We worry over material things. And then yet the Lord has promised us. Your heavenly Father know that you know you need all these things. We worry about facing various things in life. We worry so many things. Yet the Lord tells us that all of our worries is sin and that our duty is to trust him. Jesus is so powerful. He is so knowing and he's so present. He knows what you are going through. He knows everything there is to know about it. He even knows more about it than you do. And here is what he's saying to us this morning. The just shall live by faith. And whatever is not of faith is sin. And he asked you this morning, as he asked me, Why are you fearful, O ye of little faith? What he says to us is that he is the Lord and is greater than any problem we ever or we ever face in life. His desire is that we simply learn to take him at his word and trust him. We need to remember that what the Lord has promised to do, he will do. So we need to expect a miracle. Expect a miracle. 
you know there was a problem as we read and there was a plan the plan for them god said when the feet of the priest enter jordan i'm going to part the waters and lead you through the dry land you know my brothers and my sister too often we just want the lord just to fix everything in our life for us we don't want to have to make any decision or do what or do we want to have to exercise our faith in him we just want him to do it and that will be the end of it however most of the time god will require us to take steps of faith in order that we might see our jordan parted i don't know whatever it is you need a job take a step of faith don't sit down and be praying you need promotion take a step of faith Whatever you need, you, you, your, your son or your daughter need to uh, marry, take a step of faith. Well, the Holy Spirit will inspire you what to do. I'm not going to give you, say, do this, do that. But take a step of faith towards that thing you are asking the Lord to do. God has a plan. For this plan to work, it will require faith on the part of his people. The same is true for you and me. As long as we're trying to solve our own problem, we are not working in faith. It is when we turn loose of the reins of the problem, step away from it and let the Lord have it that we will see it taken care of for his glory. It's never about what we do. It is always about what the Lord is able to do. And we see there was performance. When the priest stepped into the raging river, it parted. And God opened a path of dry ground through the water for his people by the way. You see, in their own water at that time, it was the harvest season. And it was flooded, if you read it. It was flooded, not just uh, you know, the normal river. No, it was at the break. It was a flooding time. It was flooded. So no matter how your problem is, remember, God, the same God, who allowed the children of Israel to cross that Jordan River, is still alive. And it's our God. So let us with confidence faith. Come to him and know that he is God. He has promised and he will fulfill it. So this morning, what is your Jordan? What is your Jordan? It may not be named Jordan. You name it. That river that must be crossed this morning. Ask the Lord, Father, thank you. Because you are the unchangeable God. I know that, Lord God Almighty. You will change this story, Father God. I know. Lord, I'm standing here because today, in your word, it marks that on the, that chapter 4, verse 19, say, this miracle occurred on the 25th of March. Lord, I know that today, Lord, you are not changing. You are unchangeable, God. You will do perform miracles in my life, in the life of my children. Whatever be the Jordan, the impossible road that is preventing them to cross over to their promised land, whatever it is, whether marriage, whether job, or whether health, this morning, Father, Lord, I believe and I trust you that, Lord, as you give us instruction, Lord God Almighty, we're stepping in faith we as the priest of the Lord this morning, because the Lord Jesus Christ has made us to be priests this morning, we're standing oh glory, God Almighty, stepping in faith for our loved ones, oh Lord that need to, that, that need to part their Jordan that need to cross over this morning, Lord we're standing in faith as a mother, as a father ah, we are standing in faith as uncle, as auntie Lord we are standing in faith this morning and we are asking you 
oh Lord God Almighty, that the Jordan in the facing, our loved ones will be parted. That Lord, you are God of miracle. Oh, Father God, you are God of miracle. Do your miracle, Lord. Oh, Father, come and do your miracle in our life. Do your miracle concerning this situation. Bring this situation to the Lord this morning. That Lord, this is my Jordan. I must cross over. This is the Jordan facing my son, facing my daughter. He or she must cross over. Lord God Almighty. Lord, you know, Father God. You, Lord God Almighty, you know this. This, oh Lord and Father. You are unchangeable God. Three more than three thousand years ago, Lord, you allowed the children of Israel to cross over that Jordan on the twenty fifth of March. And Lord God Almighty, twenty fifth is today. Make this day my day of miracle. Begin to ask the Lord, Father Lord, make this day my day of miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, my Father, make this day my day of miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Blessed be to the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pray this morning. Let my life be released from every padlock in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, let my life, my children's life, be released from every padlock in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, my Father, let my life, let my children's life be released from every padlock in the name of Jesus Christ. Every wall of Satan against my life be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Every wall of Satan against my life, against my children's life in the name of Jesus Christ be broken be broken in the name of Jesus Christ every wall of Satan against my life be broken in the name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ oh Lord release your warrior angels to scatter the camp of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ mighty father God release your warrior angels to scatter the camp of the enemy today Lord today today let the camp of the enemy scatter in the name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus christ heavenly father breakthrough let my breakthrough come out of every satanic hiding place in the name of jesus christ oh lord my father let my breakthrough come out of every satanic holding place in the name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus christ oh father lord this morning if you read the story of Joshua completely, the Lord instructed them they should take 12 stones, and when they cross over, they should raise another. And another one, we read it again. Joshua raised an altar inside that river Jordan. You ask why? Even though nobody will see it, but only the Lord. You know, sometimes, my brothers and my sisters, nobody understands the problem you are going through, but the Lord knows it. He knows your heart. He knows your heart. And sometimes we are quick to judge. Ask the Lord this morning, that Lord, you know my heart. And remember what you have done for me. You know, Lord, and I remember what you have done for me. Lord God Almighty, this morning, I remember, I raised the water of remembrance. I knew, Lord, that there was a time I was in need. I knew, Lord, that there was a time I was so helpless, and you came through for me. Or oh, if you, you know, another reason God asked them to raise the water on outside the river is that when any of their children or grandchildren will ask them, what is this monument for? They will tell them, the Lord made the way for us, you know. That is why it's good to have a memory that you can tell this story. Ask the Lord this morning, Father Lord, give me things, do things in my life that you change my story, that I can tell my children, that I can tell of your goodness to them, that Lord, it is day, this day, Lord, it was the day that the Lord parted my Jordan. That chain, oh Lord, that is obstacle on my way was lifted up. So, Father God, let my breakthrough come out of every satanic holding in the name of Jesus Christ. Raise the altar of prosperity in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. And remember when we are talking of prosperity, it's not this thing that the most will destroy. Spiritual 
prosperity. Health, prosperity. Body, soul, and mind, prosperity. This morning, ask the Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus, read the altar of prosperity in my life, in my family, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, my Father, you are the lifter of my head. Arise, oh, Lord. Let my head be lifted up in the name of Jesus Christ. Let my head be lifted up in the name of Jesus Christ. The labor of my life shall prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. The labor of my hand shall prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. The labor of my children's hands shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I bind him and I render impotent the strong man in charge of my problems in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bind him and render impotent the strong man in charge of my problems in the name of Jesus Christ. I hide behind the cross of Jesus this morning, the cross of Calvary, and I find Fire back every arrows in the name of Jesus Christ. I hide behind the cross of Calvary and fire back every evil arrows this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, I hand behind the cross of Calvary and I fire back every evil arrow in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray this morning. Every power making it difficult for me to obtain favor. Vanish in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every power making it difficult for me to obtain favor. Vanish, vanish, vanish in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, my Father, reorganize my presence and do not pass me by. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, reorganize my presence and do not pass me by. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lastly, let us pray that Father, in the presence of those asking, where is my God? Arise and manifest your power. Manifest your power in the name of Jesus Christ. You know the people on the other side of the Jordan will be wondering. We will see. Ah, we read it that they, they departed the rest for them. We will see if the same God will pass this Jordan for them. Uh, it's the harvest time. It's the, the, the place is flooded. And we know in our life, in our family, there are those who are asking, oh, we will see what God will do again. Oh, Father God, in the presence of those asking, where is our God this morning? Arise, O oh Lord, manifest your power. Manifest your power in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, our Father, manifest your power in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every chain limiting our life break break in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every chain that is limiting our life break in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father God, this morning, this morning we pray, Lord, you are the God of miracles. You know what we need, Lord. Some of us, Lord, we need miracle. So, Father, God of miracle, you are our Father. Do your work. Do your work, oh Lord, in our life, in the life of our children. Man, this day, Lord, God Almighty, a day of remembering for us, oh God, our oh God. As the children of Israel, we always remember this day, March 25th, oh Lord. That is the day. They will tell the children's children that the Lord parted the sea for them, the Jordan River. Lord God Almighty, whatever be the river in our front this day, Lord, this year, Lord, let it be parted in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for your unchangeable God. We give you all the glory, all the honor. We bless your name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We still continue our prayer for intercessory. So please wait behind. And let me remind us again, our 90 days reading the New Testament is still ongoing. Join us. We're in Acts of the Apostle and it's been a wonderful thing. Join us. God bless you as you do so. So now we start continue our prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, Jesus. Lord, we bless your holy name. This morning we are interceding for the sick. In the name of Jesus. Hear the footsteps of Jesus. He is now passing by. Bearing bound for the wounded. 
healing all who apply. As he spoke to the sufferer, who lay at the pool, he said, In this moment, we thou be made whole, we thou be made whole, we thou be made whole. Oh, come, we we suffer, oh, come, six, six, oh. See the life stream is flowing. See the cleansing waves roll. Step into the current and thou shalt be whole. This is our prayer this morning as we begin to pray for the sick. In the name of Jesus, the sick one among us, even the sick one that we do not know, we know there are sick one out there this morning. In the name of Jesus, Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you. We thank you, King of glory, because the sick one will hear your full, the full step of Jesus this morning. They will hear the full step of Jesus this morning because it's right here. It's right here in our midst. It's right there in our home where we are right now, interceding for the sick one this morning. He has the balm, the balm of Gilead. It's ready to heal, oh, Lord God, every wound, in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord God, O oh Father, Lord, eh, we are applying this money. We are asking this money. In the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord God, O oh, that for as many that are sick this money, for as many that are weary and even laden with sickness this money, with pain in their bodies, O oh Lord God, eh, oh, with diagnosed sicknesses, O oh Lord God, this money, O oh Father, in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord God, we cry out that yes lord uh, they want to be made whole yes lord uh, they want to be made whole this morning father we ask that you heal them oh lord god oh father lord rub upon them the balm of gilead this morning in the mighty name of jesus oh father we give you praise this morning the book of first peter chapter 2 verse 24 read that he himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that we might die to sins and live righteousness. By his wounds, eh, you have been healed. Eh. By his wounds, eh, you have been healed. Eh. Oh, Father Lord, we declare healing this morning upon the sick ones, oh Lord God, eh, because by your wound, oh Lord God, everyone has been made whole. Eh. Everyone has been healed eh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh. So, Father Lord, we declare healing this morning, healing upon the sick ones among us this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh. Oh, pray this morning that our Heavenly Father will release in his, his healing power upon the sick and leave them from the bed of sickness eh, this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh, for as many that are sick, for as many that are weary, for as many that are weak eh, this morning, receive strength this morning, be made whole this morning by the power in the name and the blood of Jesus, be made whole, 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 be made whole. Be made whole, be made whole in the name of Jesus. Receive healing this morning. Receive healing this morning in the body, in the brain, in the blood, in the water, in the bones of the body, in the cells of the body. Receive healing this morning in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father Lord, we send healing. Out, oh Lord God, into the atmosphere, into the air this morning. For as many that are sick, Lord, uh, that they will be made whole in the name of Jesus. Because you are passing by, you are moving around us, uh, you are moving within us, uh, you are moving. In the care centers, eh? you are moving. In the hospitals, eh? you are moving. In the clinic, eh? you are moving everywhere, oh Lord God. Healing all those that are sick. Eh? Oh, Father, we thank you this morning. Thank you because as you move around them, within them, among them, eh? you are laying your hand of healing upon them. Eh? And healing is coming eh? into that body. In the name of Jesus, oh, Father, we give you 
praise this morning because Jesus, you are the great physician. You will heal uh, every physical, every emotional wound, uh, every spiritual wound uh, of the sick ones this morning. You will heal it, oh Lord God. Uh, you will heal, you will heal them, oh Lord God. Oh Father, Lord, we thank you, oh Lord God. Oh, because you are the Lord that heals, oh Lord God. Uh, you sense your words, uh, you heal every of our diseases, oh Lord God. Uh, oh Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, as you ask in Jeremiah 8 22, is there no balm in Gilead? We know there is still balm in Gilead. Uh, is there no physician there? Oh Father, we know that you see exists because you are the great physician. Uh, so we call upon you, the balm of Gilead, oh Lord God, uh, the balm of Gilead that rubs upon wounds, uh, the balm of Gilead that heals, uh, the balm of Gilead that rubs some pains eh, and the pains deliver disappear. Oh, we call upon you this morning. Balm of Gilead, eh, balm of healing. Eh, come upon the sick ones this morning. Restore health unto them this morning. Restore healing unto them this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, eh, for as many that are weary, that are heaven lady with sickness, eh, with body, eh, body in the heart is a sickness. Eh. Oh, Father, we thank you because you will restore health eh, unto the mind, eh, unto the body, unto the souls this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we give you praise this morning. Lord, we thank you this morning. Oh, Father, we ask uh, in the name of Jesus that your resurrection power will bring healing, we bring wholeness eh, to every organ of the body. In the mighty name of Jesus, eh, for as many organs eh, that are functioning less Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because they begin to function aright. They begin to function in their full capacity. In the mighty name of Jesus, eh? oh, Father, we thank you this morning. Thank you for healing that is coming upon that blood. Eh? In the mighty name of Jesus, eh? thank you, Father, Lord, for that cells eh, that is erratical. Oh, Father, because there is calm upon them this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you this morning because you will restore joy. You will restore joy to the spirit of the sick one this morning and you will renew them. You will renew their mind. You will renew their body. In the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Lord, restore joy this morning. Pray this morning that the Lord will restore joy to the spirit of the sick one this morning. That the Lord will renew their mind, will renew their body. In the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Oh, Father, we thank you this morning. Let us pray this morning that God will give wisdom. You know, he's the giver of all gifts. And he said, ask you shall be given. So this morning, Father, we are asking for wisdom. Wisdom for the sick ones in the name of Jesus. Eh? Wisdom to take care of themselves. Not just take care of themselves, but take good care of themselves. Eh? Oh, wisdom to abide. Eh? Wisdom to be compliant. Eh? Either with their treatment regimen or with instructions given unto them, or to abstain from certain food. Oh, Father, this morning, we are asking for wisdom. We are asking for grace, eh? grace for them to abide, eh? grace for them to do what is right. Eh? In the mighty name of Jesus, oh, Lord God. Oh, Father, we give you praise this morning because you are releasing unto the sick ones this morning the grace for them, oh, Lord God, eh? to act right. Eh? The grace for them to eat right. Eh? The grace for them to drink right. Eh? In the mighty name of Jesus, eh? oh, Father, we thank you because Lord, uh, because of your blood uh, that was shed on the Calvary, because of those wounds uh, that you received, oh Lord God, oh Father Lord, uh, healing is coming upon the sick ones this morning. Father, we thank you this morning. Lord, we give you all the praise, oh Lord God. We thank you. We adore you in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? And we cry unto you this morning in the name of Jesus. Eh? We ask that sickness. Eh? 
will dry to his roots eh? in the name of Jesus. In the body of the sick, eh? sickness will dry to his roots eh? in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? And even as we lift them up before you this morning, every sickness that is being healed eh? in the name of Jesus will not come upon any one of us in the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord God. Oh Father, we thank you, King of glory. So we soak us in the blood of Jesus eh? and we soak the, the healed ones even in the blood of Jesus eh? that their healing will be permanent eh? in the mighty name of Jesus eh? and for us raising up prayer this morning our health will be made perfect eh? in the name of Jesus no sickness will come near us eh? in the mighty name of Jesus eh? oh father we give you praise we thank you this morning we adore you in the name of Jesus eh? father as we pray for the sick ones this morning we want to lift their caregiver before you oh Lord God the doctors the nurses eh? even the one that cooks the ones that clean for them the one that does everything for them eh? oh father we thank you even the nurses oh Lord God Oh, Father, everyone in the healthcare, even our home, oh Lord God, the caregiver, we ask for your strength upon them, that you will strengthen them. In the name of Jesus, that no sickness will come upon them, even as they take care of these ones. Eh? In the mighty name of Jesus, eh? Lord, we soak them in the blood of Jesus. Your blood that speaks good things than that of Abel. Father, we thank you because your blood will shield them. Your blood will cover them in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Oh, Father, we thank you this morning. We give you praise this morning because we know you hear us when we ask in the name of Jesus. You not just hear, but you also answer us. Thank you because you have answered us. And we soak all our answers of healing into the blood of Jesus this morning. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, I am that I am. We worship you, Baba. We honor you. We adore you. In the name of Jesus, eh? I am. We glorify your mighty name this morning. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Eh? And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with each and every one of us now and forevermore. Amen, amen, amen. In Jesus' name.